Alright, Jarvis, we're here. Where's the lady in distress? I'm not sure, sir, but I am picking up movement from down below. <laughs> what is that noise? It doesn't sound like a lady. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, hello, Tony. It is I, Midas. Yeah, I can see that. How are you flying on that broomstick? No, Tony. Not how, but why. Okay. Why are you flying on that broomstick? I'm flying to my next YouTube subscription, Nuscape Pro, or Nuscape Pro. That's a strange way to do it, but okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I need to get me one of those. You sure you're up for this? This is the second time that Mystique's made a fool of us all. I'm not gonna let it happen again. Still, won't you get bored down here? <laughs> As if. I know about 300 bodyweight exercises that'll keep me occupied while I stand guard. Well, I pity anyone who tries to get past you. But, uh, how will you know they are who they say they are? Before Tony went into his coma, he developed some scanning tech. It'll reveal the genetic makeup of whoever I direct it towards. Thankfully, we have a sample of Mystique's DNA from our previous scuffles. Between that tech and your arms, we finally got a real security system. My thoughts exactly. Well, let me know if you ever want a break. I'm no pushover myself. <laughs> I'm well aware. Thanks, Meowsles. Have you talked to Remedy, by the way? How are the two of them doing? According to her, it's still too early to say. Jules was close to the brink, but apparently she's now stable and her wounds are healing. Slowly, but surely. That's good. That kid's already been through so much. Yeah. Tony, on the other hand... Well, Mystique's little joyride caused his wounds to open back up. He's not looking good. <sighs> as much as I dislike the guy, he's a vital part of this team. If we lose him... Let's not think like that, okay, Meowsles? For now, we just have to do our best without him. Knowing Tony, though, he won't pass up the opportunity to show back up and save the day. In that case, I'm rooting for him. Jarvis, give me a scan of the area. Scanning. It appears you're all alone. No other life signs in this whole woods? You sure? Like I said, you're all alone. And you're going to die out here, Mr. Stark. Jeez, thanks for the vote of confidence. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Jarvis? Jarvis? Must be malfunctioning. Gotta keep my guard up. Who's there? No one. Jarvis? You there? Where am I? Welcome, Mr. Stark, to my dark domain. Stay right where you are, Skeletor. I'm warning you. Relax. I'm not here to do you any harm. Besides, your trinkets are useless against me. These trinkets are a result of billions in R&D. 
so I think I'll take my chances. For all the good it did against Wolverine. Wait, that's right. Wolverine, he... Crap, am I dead? Is this hell? I know I wasn't always the nicest guy, but surely all that charity work must have counted for something. As I said, this is my domain, not hell. It is the realm of death. And that makes you... You guessed it. Death. Wow. Death herself in the flesh. Well, scratch that last bit. So, what am I doing here? Your life force has weakened significantly. While you are not dead yet, you are as close as you can be. Thankfully, this presents us with an opportunity. Us? Midas? Tony, this is Midas. I believe you've already been acquainted with his daughter, Jules. Oh yeah, I can see the resemblance. Black hair, pale skin, perpetual sour apple face. <laughs> and the grumbling. Can't forget the grumbling. Midas here desires to return to the living world to ensure his daughter's survival in the wars to come. Great, that makes two of us. So, can you snap your bony fingers and make it happen? That is a complication. I do not have a physical body to go back to. And while you do, Tony, your life force is too weak. Hence the opportunity. I possess the power of the golden light. Jules mentioned something about that. What is it exactly? The history is too complicated to go into now. Regardless, my essence could be used to resurrect you. As long as you allow my own conscience to tag along, as it were. So what? You take over my body? Yeah, no thanks. It would be a mutual ownership, at least until I have a vessel of my own to transfer into. You would still be in control. I don't like the idea of someone else swimming around my headspace. The situation is not wholly appealing to me either. For one, that facial hair will have to go. No deal. Boys, boys, be reasonable. If you cannot come to an agreement, I suppose you can both just stay here and watch your worlds be consumed. Tony? Ugh, can't believe I'm saying this, but fine. It's settled then. Now stand still, you two. This will only hurt a bit. Nine hundred ninety-seven, nine hundred ninety-eight, nine hundred ninety-nine, one thousand. Tony, Tony, you're alive. Ugh. Hey, Shulky. I almost can't believe it. Oh, Remedy said you might not make it. Well, I for one am happy to prove her wrong. Oh, tell me about it. You managed to cheat death yet again. Not this time. We actually came to an agreement. Huh? Don't worry about it. Jules, what happened to you? You don't remember? I suppose you wouldn't. She got stabbed right before you went down for the count. Good news though, the doctor thinks she should pull through. Marigold. Marigold? You okay, Tony? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for keeping watch, Shulky. You're a real friend. Wow, a friend? No awkward come on? There's no time for dilly-dallying. There's too much at stake. <laughs> did, did you just say dilly-dallying? Maybe we should have Remedy do some scans to make sure you're all right. Okay, Midas, no more fancy talk like dilly-dally. That being said, I gotta say, I'm digging the new suit. Of course, it is something more befitting of our dual nature. Why not test out its full capabilities? Don't mind if I do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Indeed. Go on. Fly. Wait a minute. Where are we going? I would like to check on something. 
What gives? I'm supposed to be in control. It seems I have some say in our actions, however slight. Do not fret. You will remain in the driver's seat. Just indulge me this one instance. What are we doing here? Beginning our grand work. This has been a long time coming. I thought my story was long since done, but it has become ever so clear that there is still work for me to do. In my absence, this island has descended into chaos, disorder, and now the one beyond our world threatens us all. Only I can stand against him. Only I can make this right. Only I can save this world. However, I still have a score to settle. The ones who denied me. The ones who opposed me. The ones who took her from me will wish they hadn't. For revenge is a dish best served. Gold. Jules, hang in there. Your daughter's a real beauty, Midas. She is indeed. No thanks to you. She must take after her mother. <sighs> Always the joker. Sorry, but hey, good news. She's come a long way. Instead of months, it might only take weeks until she's awake again. So, progress, right? Hmm. The one who did this to her. Who is he? He's a nasty one, with a serious chip on his shoulder. He's called the Wolverine, or Logan. Logan. And you said the boy. <laughs> Fade already dealt with him. That's what he says. Me? I'm not so sure. I mean, I couldn't even take that guy down. But Fade seemed convinced. And he wanted Wolverine dead just as much as you. I doubt that. Well, thankfully it's not a competition. But if you want to check out Logan's last known location, I won't stop you. We can go together. As if I have a choice. My spirit is tied to your body. What's the matter? You don't like being a billionaire playboy super genius for a change? Mm, no, no. What's that? Nothing. Let's go. Ah! Midas? Ah! Midas! Ah! Why am I here? I thought I was done with this place. No, you're not done with me, Midas. Not yet. Enforcer, what have you done? You really shouldn't have gone behind my back, striking a deal without me. The arrogance. My business is my own. No, it is not. We had an agreement, one that you broke. You must understand. Everything I do, I do for- For your daughter, I know. That line is tired, Midas. Give it a rest. You have crossed me, and that I can't abide. Then it seems we are at an impasse. <sighs> Not for long. You found your way into the living world, one that I can exploit. So I won't kill you, but instead, <sighs> well, you'll see. I've been doing this for a long time, so just stand still. Whatever you're planning, it won't work. Only one of us returns. Then it shall be. 
be me. This is the end for you. Now, this is just the beginning. What's with all this fog all of a sudden? I don't know. The forecast was for clear skies. Can you do anything about this storm? Of course. Hmm, curious. Something wrong? I cannot seem to lift the veil of darkness. This is most unusual. Well, at least if it's the Halloween season. <gasps> Ooh, we should watch scary movies tonight. Oh, yeah! Girls, need I remind you that we are the guardians of this world. The first and the last line of defense. The first and the last. You're right, Storm. I guess we could be a bit more serious. But do you really think this fog is a big deal? I don't know, but the fact that I cannot control it, that is what concerns me. Fair enough. So what do we do then? Find the source? I imagine Tony will have some words to say about this. Maybe he can shed some light on the situation. That'd be nice, because I can barely see a thing out here. Nice. Girls. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Let's report back to the others. Ah. <sighs> what? Where am I? This is... The agency. I did it. I'm back. And I am... Me. This is my body. But something has changed. I feel different. Odd, somehow. No matter. The fact is, I have returned. And there is much to do. You fool. What is this? What have you done? Lady Death. How nice of you to join me here, in my domain. This was not the deal. I am aware, but the circumstances that led me here were not of my choosing. The Enforcer brought my spirit back to the beyond. I defeated him, and then woke up here. Hmm. Odd that I was not aware of this. Though your world, this world, has always had different... rules. Rules. Yes. Still, though, you were supposed to be bound to Stark. And together you would face Galactus. Together you would defeat him. That was indeed the idea. But things have changed. I understand that you want Galactus gone. And this is still possible. I was accommodating your desires, not my own. Is that so? You seem to have a vested interest in Galactus getting out of the picture. Don't try and deny it. Hmm. You are clever. For a mortal, I mean. Ah, but now I am so much more. I will still fulfill our promise. Of that, let there be no doubt. Hmm. I believe you. You're more capable than most. But still, you can't do this alone. Are you offering your assistance? Not directly. But those who have served will serve again. Hmm. Rise. They are yours to command once more. Good luck, Midas. Honor our agreement. Of course. For now, though, it's time to get my revenge. Man, I cannot believe-
for the life of me get a signal. Must be this bad weather. Huh? Who's there? Ah! No, 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 leave me alone! <laughs> feeling better now that my skin grew back yeah i gotta be honest that was pretty gross Ugh, must have been equally painful huh. you get used to it <laughs> i'm sure so you ended up staying the night after all so that'll be 200 buckaroos mister i guess i do owe you how about a repayment plan i'm sure we can work something out <laughs> Hmm. Oh, what about staying on as a muscle? I ain't no bodyguard. You can wash dishes if you prefer. No, <sighs> bodyguard it is. Great! In that case, you can stay as long as you like. We'll get this place up and operational in no time. Oh, aren't you excited, Logan? I'm ecstatic. Pff, I can tell. Huh? Is that smoke? Oh God, not another fire. No, not a fire. Then what is it? Smells like trouble. Stay here. I'll check it out. Nuh-uh. This is my business. I'm coming with you. Listen, as your bodyguard, I'm telling you to stay put. Something isn't right. Well, at least you're adapting to the role. All right then, Mr. Bodyguard. Report back to me here. Uh-huh. What the? Did Fate and I really mess the place up this bad? Where'd you come from? Wrong answer, Baba. Now it's a party! More of you guys, find by me. They just keep on coming. I gotta get Mary out of here. No, no! Mary! Ugh. Too late. No use sticking around now. Out of the way. You ain't worth my time. Ugh. I'm alive. Wait. Is this still the authority? What the? Who could have done this? It is only natural to be confused. Allow me to introduce myself. I am... Waiters! Indeed. So, you've heard of me then? Uh, of course I have, uh, but I thought you were dead. I am dead. And reborn. How? Does it matter? I... I guess not. What have you done to this place? I have done as I please. It is my agency, after all. What do you want with me? Well, that depends. Look down there, won't you? Okay. <gasps> Those are the things that grabbed me! What are they? 
lost souls that have joined my cause, a fate to be shared by all who opposed me, who followed others. You would make a fine shadow. After all, you're already dressed the part. Well, look, it was just a job, and, and you were dead. I, I didn't know any better. I'm sorry. Please don't make me into one of those things. I mean, I can help you. Hmm. Perhaps you will be useful. The man you were with earlier. Who is he? The man? Oh, that was Logan. Why? Logan. I may require your help in dealing with him soon. But first... Where is the one you served? Where is the Chaos Agent? He, he took over the body of that tall blonde guy. Uh, Thor! Thor. Very well. He will face my wrath. Um... Mr. Midas, sir? You should be careful. He's really strong. Are you questioning my ability? N no! Not at all! I just thought I should let you know. Hmm. Understood. Now, what is your name? M Mary. Hmm. Mary. You and I are going to be spending a lot of time together. Can't wait, sir. This isn't good. I'll say. What happened to your rock and gold suit? It, well, I just decided it was too much for me. But let's stay on topic here. Storm? Like I told the others, this weather is highly unusual. And what's worse is that I cannot control it. Meaning? Meaning it's likely to be enchanted in some way. Magical. Great. Just what we need. In that case, maybe Catalyst can help us. Who's that? One of the elementals, like my grandfather. She's supposed to keep the winds in check or something. Do you know how to contact this Catalyst? Her abilities are of this world, mine or not. She may have more of an understanding of this freak weather. I'll do some digging. Sky, wanna come with? Of course. That's a start at least. What about you, Tony? Any of the gadgets you keep around coming up with anything? Kind of the opposite. This freak weather has fried a lot of my equipment. I'm just as lost as you are. Might be some time before I'm able to track down energy signatures too. Hmm. Then for now, our hope lies with the girls. Good luck. We'll have each other's backs. Like always. So beautiful. Incoming transmission from the Authority. Hmm. The Authority? That's odd. Put it through. Greetings, Chaos Agent. Midas? It can't be. You're dead. Death is not the end. You should know that better than anyone. Now, drop the act. I want to hear the real you. This is a lie. Some sort of trick. Be warned. I tore apart the last person who tried to pull a stunt like this. This is no trick. I have returned, Chaos Agent. And I know what you've done. <laughs> and what is that? Jules. You tried to control her. You tried to steal my daughter away from me. She was weak. Simply a pawn, just like everyone else. I should thank you though, Midas. When I get tired of this body, maybe I'll make use of yours. You won't get the chance. I'm coming for you, Chaos. Prepare. No sign of intruders, Agent Hale. Roger that. Keep me posted. Will do. Wait, who the hell are they? Return 
Return fire! Oh, yeah! Backup! We need backup! We've got a major security breach. All hands on deck. This is not good. I gotta get down there. Just who are you guys? What do you want? They are with me. And they have no desires of their own. My will is all that matters. Who are you? You must be new around here. I am Midas, the protector of this island. Protector? You just killed dozens of innocent men. They were necessary sacrifices. Besides, death is not the end. Simply a new beginning. Thus, they won't be gone long. What is that supposed to mean? No more questions. I am in command now, and you will do as I say. Or you shall suffer the same fate as your soldiers. All right, Midas. I'll play along. A word of warning, though. By all means. You picked the wrong ship to mess with. <sighs> Finally away from that place. But where to now? I can't see a thing in this fog. What was that? <sighs> Show yourselves! Oh, you're an ugly one, aren't ya? Back off! What are these things, anyway? That's the last of them, for now. Yeah! Sounds like trouble. You, Wolverine. Jess Logan is fine. She okay? Sky, you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Just got the wind knocked out of me is all. Good. Hold on. What are you doing here? Why'd you help us? I thought you were, you know, evil now. Nah, uh, sorry to disappoint you, kid, but I ain't evil. But you stabbed Jules. Why? That was an accident. I tried to tell the others, but they wouldn't listen. You accidentally stabbed someone in the stomach, putting them in a coma. <sighs> I don't know. You don't understand. I have these headaches. They lead to visions, nightmares, and then the claws come out. Jules just got too close to me when they did. That's all there is to it. 
I'd say it's never happened before, but that'd be a lie. Every time it does, it hurts the same. I believe you. You, you do? do? Well, yeah. It all makes sense to me. Maybe it's because I'm a little removed from the situation. Or maybe it's because Jules stabbed you in the back before? That's not it. I've seen his headaches firsthand when we met back in Weeping Woods. You're not the same man when you're under their effect. I can tell. Thanks for believing in me. You're not half bad. <sighs> well, I might not trust you fully, Logan. But I trust Guy. We'll see if the others feel the same. Speaking of, we should get back to Stark Industries. It's no use trying to travel in this thick fog, and we don't want to get ambushed by any more of those... things. You got that right. Any word yet on what this crazy weather's all about? The Wonder Twins left last night to see if they could find any answers. Something about visiting some Wind Queen? Oh, they must mean Sparkles. Good idea. Okay, the fact that her name is Sparkles is not reassuring. We're back. That was fast. And the island's still covered in fog. What happened? We got attacked by some strange creatures. We were nearly goners, but then... He saved us. He? No. Hey, bubs. You again? Step away from him, Sky. He's dangerous. <sighs> He's not. Put away your weapons. We can explain. I'm watching you. Likewise. All right. Let's hear it. Logan suffers from night terrors. All the wars he's been in has left him with a head full of bad memories. Sometimes they result in the sort of rage mode when he wakes up. Jules was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. This true hairball? Yeah, every word. Which is what I was trying to tell you. Well, she did go in his room after all. It makes sense, Tony. <sighs> Fine. We may have acted a little too rashly. Excuse me if I don't fully forgive you, though. I knocked on Death's door because of you. Literally. Huh? Forget it. Well, you seem to be just fine now. How's the girl? Jules? She's... Apologies, sir. I hate to interrupt, but this is urgent. What is it, Jarvis? We have company. Huh? So... You've all come together again. How touching. That voice. It's him, Midas. Yes, I have returned. Fast man, but you're dead. How is this possible? But the goal is important enough. One learns to overcome any obstacle. What happened to you? You seem different. I've been reborn. My mind is clearer, my power intensified, and with my new army, I'm unstoppable. New army? What do you mean by that? My followers are legion. My ranks grow every hour as more and more people come to accept the truth of this world. And what's that? That I am the only hope it has left. Oro could not break me. Even death could not stop me. And now, I will finish what I have started. What are you trying to do? You. How dare you speak to me. You will pay for the suffering you've caused. Logan. You may fire when ready. Bossman! Don't do this! He's lost it. Everyone, take cover! off the map, just like that. Thor. Yes, 
He is gone, and chaos with him. I have done in one day what you could not accomplish in months. Can there be any further doubt that I am destined to be this island's savior? If you're so confident of that, then why not join us? We can take on Galactus together! I will not fraternize with those that would harbor my daughter's would be murderer. To that end, return Jules' body to me at once. I will see to her care myself. Midas, be reasonable. We've got the best medical equipment on this island here. She's better off with us. If you will not relinquish my daughter to me, then you leave me no choice but to take her by force. Farewell. Guys, what do we do? Not going with you. What? No, no. You must be mistaken. Afraid not. I am a doctor, dear. I know these things. But we're a team, you and I. You found me all alone. You nurtured me. You even led me to my first host. And that is why I stayed by your side all these years. But now I see. It was all for nothing. Don't say that. Chaos is no true goal. What have I done? I allowed my love of science to eclipse everything. I know you are not my husband. Not even a small part of him remains now. Does it? Toxin, I... I thought as much. Then I am off to join him. I just hope that he forgives me. <laughs> <laughs> 